Welcome everyone! My name is Elaine Enriquez and in today's program, Sharing Your Vision, we welcome back a very special guest whom we've had the honor to know and cherish, Susan Summons, recipient of the 2022 Woman of Harmony Award. Honored by Miami-Dade County College as a 2022 Outstanding Woman during Women's History Month. Today's topic, the power of your leadership on business success. She is here today to tell us all about it. I am so grateful to God to have you here once again. You're part of our family, Thank but she's you. been touring. She's been away. She's doing wonderful things for our community, for our society, and for our world. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Elaine. It's always a pleasure to have an opportunity to be a part of your journey, OVM radio and television's journey, to share the message with all of the people that are out there in the world that need to hear this conversation. They need to receive a message of hope and gratitude and love that, that whatever they're thinking today, think success. Think believing in themselves. Wow, that's wonderful that we have someone here for us to think and just meditate on our lives. And how important to use the power of leadership in the business success world. Tell us what that means. Well, Elaine, in about 35 years, I've been teaching, coaching, an administrator, a professional, and in that in those components, I have to develop leadership skills. So we talk about the power of your leadership on business success. That's one of my topics, one of my areas. And within that area of leadership, and I think everyone that's striving to have a successful business or be a successful leader, regardless of the career, you have to adopt and embrace five dream principles of leadership. The first principle step deals with dedication, determination, and desire. As a leader, you have to be dedicated to your team, to your staff, to the group, to the company. You have to be dedicated. You have to be determined. You have to have that desire every day. It's a daily occurrence that helps to develop the power of that leadership. The second principle relates to respecting the goal and respecting your leadership goal as a leader. Because if you're respecting your leadership goal as a leader, you're respecting the goals of your team, your staff, you're, you're enriching your staff. But you also have to embrace the concept of risk. Powerful leaders in business are willing to take risks. They're willing to make changes. We talked a little bit about this before the show. Becoming a powerful leader Developing a powerful business means sometimes you have to step outside of your comfort zone and make changes. The third principle of leadership relates to education and excellence. Powerful leaders are striving every day to be better or to be their better selves. If you're focusing on being your better self, then you're going to be a better leader for the people that you're leading. Excellence is so important. It's not enough to develop the power of leadership if you're not doing it every day. Excellence is, an, is, is not an act, it's a habit. So every day you're practicing as a leader to have a powerful leadership and have excellence every day. That is going to become contagious with your team with your staff, with your employees in business and success. They're looking at you. You want to work harder than your staff. You want to work harder than your group. You want to come in enthusiastic. And they see that. They see that energy. They marvel in it. It becomes contagious. And guess what? They want to be like you. They want to become a powerful leader. The fourth principle is attitude. Attitude. Attitude is 100% of everything you do in life as a leader, and that helps to fuel the power 
of your leadership because you have the right attitude. But you also, while having that right attitude, use affirmations. Affirmations, self-talk. I'm gonna do great today. You're gonna do great today. You're gonna be a success. I am a success. I'm not gonna fail. I'm gonna succeed. Powerful affirmations. Some of the greatest leaders in the world use the power of self-talk, making them a powerful leader and giving them power in their leadership for successful business. The last principle relates to motivation. You can't do anything in life without being motivated every day as a leader. The power of your leadership on business success depends on those five dream principles of leadership. Now, a person that's watching is saying, okay, I enjoy doing this in my life. I'm right now in a studying for a certain career. What do you tell them? How should they begin to comprehend and adopt those principles? Well, Elaine, one strategy that an individual can use if they're not sure of what their goal is, what their career is, they're thinking about a career change. We're living in a different time. And anyone watching this show, anyone in business, you have to have the ability to think outside of the box. Anything that you thought was traditional, it's now non-traditional. You have to be an artist. You have to be creative. You have to be innovative. Inclusion and diversity. So some in one strategy simply is to sit down and think about and write down what are careers that you like. Write down those careers. And when you're writing down those careers, write, write down some of the characteristics that are related to those business careers. And then determine, do you have those characteristics? Do you feel comfortable in that business? Do you love working with people? Do you love reading? Do you love working with your hands? You know, think about what kind of career you are focused on and you want to participate in. And that's one strategy that will help guide you and direct you into really honing in on perhaps what your purpose is in business. And then a second strategy simply is do research. Research businesses. And don't just research one. Research two or three. Because you may discover that you have a talent or skills that allow you to be effective in not just in one business career, but two or three business careers. For those of you that are currently owning a business, but you want to make that business more successful, or maybe understand it more as how to make the proper changes for advancement, what do you tell them? Well, Elaine, I would tell anyone that is attempting to make a change in their business, to look at ways to improve it, make it more successful. You want to attend workshops. You want to attend seminars that are related directly to your business increasing or the success of your business increasing. You want to talk to people. You want to talk to people that are in that business already and try to figure out what are they doing that's making their business successful. What are some strategies that they're using that's creating a level of success? And maybe, perhaps you can apply some of those same strategies that allows you to improve your business. Now, on the strategies and all the criteria that we're learning about, where do you start? I mean, whether the person is already uh, in a business uh, career um, journey or whether they're starting or it's a student or someone at home that just doesn't know where to go, what to do, how do you lead them to a place of startership? Well, business startership first starts with an idea. An idea that they believe in. They could be sitting in their living room. They could decide to create their one room apartment as their office. But they had an idea, they had a dream and they sat down and wrote it down and they wrote down a business plan and they wrote down maybe how much it would cost for them to have a startup business. 
So they have a budget and they do research and they do research on that business idea to see if that business idea even exists already. And if it does, then you want to do additional research. If it doesn't, then maybe you should tap into that. So again, it starts with an idea, it starts with a belief, it starts also with one of the dream principles of leadership, determination, dedication, and desire. And that individual believing that that business idea will be successful. Listen, some of the greatest successful Fortune 500 company business owners may be failed in the beginning, but they learn from that failure and they become better business owners and their business started to prosper. So it's about belief. And if you get 10 no's, you're gonna get 20 yeses. And you can't get discouraged in business because business and starting any business, there's a level of risk. That's one of the dream principles and the power of your leadership on business success. You have to believe that your business is gonna be successful and you don't have time to be discouraged. You don't have time to be disappointed. That type of time is taking away from the positive energy of you focusing on making your business a success. Organizational skills, how important is that? In all that we are discussing about taking on a new challenge and prospering. Taking on a new challenge and prospering in business and making sure again that the power of your leadership is having a tremendous impact on your business requires you to have a balanced level of organizational skills. Powerful leaders, if they don't have that skill, they surround themselves with staff that do. Very important. They try to make sure that they are balanced and have the ability to communicate with people, to have the interpersonal skills, to have the business savvy, to be able to go out and network, to be able to co communicate, communication, writing skills. And, and, and in this technology era, technology and computer skills is a critical component of the organizational base of any business. So they need to make sure they have a cross-sectional ability in those organizational skill areas to have not only an effective business, but a successful business. Time management is also important because a powerful leader whose business is thriving is going to become incredibly busy. And that's a good challenge to have. So then they have to now come up with a strategy to help them deal with the high volume of sales, high volume of requests that they're getting on social media for their services or their product that they're selling or their services that they're providing. So that requires another organizational skill component. And they have to be able to recognize when that's happening and address it. And here's a very important organizational skill. Very important as a powerful leader to follow up with people. Very important, someone calls you you know, one of my pet peeves as a leader, a business owner, president and CEO of SusanSummonSpeaks.com, if someone calls me or emails me, I have always tried to make it a point to follow up and get back to them by the end of the day, if not within 24, 48 hours. I really appreciate that you say that because that is the principal focus once you have everything organized and you know what you're doing you need to educate yourself like we're doing now this is a program that educates all of us to become better in business and in life in general some of these same organizational skills elaine not only apply in the business world but they apply in your life and you can embrace the same skills on how you function in life because there is a similarity. 
if you are focusing on being a great leader in your office and in your business, you're also focusing on being a great leader at home with your family. Because your family is an extension of you. They're your team. You work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. So there is definitely a connection and there is a similarity and the organizational skills, as they say, life skills. What has taken place during the time that you were here last till now? Well, uh, one thing is I've been doing a lot more podcast shows and uh, crossover podcast show. In fact, I'm scheduled for another podcast show coming up the end of this week. Uh, been invited to speak, uh, received the 2022 Women in Harmony Award by the Women Empowerment Organizations, Michelle Hastings. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'm just very involved uh, working with a television documentary that uh, is, is in the making and, and uh, you know, evolving. And uh, also was just recently uh, featured on the Sports Deli podcast uh, to be a part of an honor ceremony, 50th anniversary honor ceremony for Title IX. Title IX, as we all know, is the legislation piece, 37 words, that provided equality to gender equity for women and girls to compete in, compete in sports, not only in sports, but to compete and be a part of business and take on leadership roles and take on roles that generally girls, you wouldn't see girls taking on. Um, so I've been very busy. I've also been working on my book, finishing up and focusing on writing uh, the book and finishing that manuscript so I can get it out to some publishers. And, uh, and that in itself has kept me busy. Um, and also just taking moment to, to embrace faith. You know, it's so important while you're on a journey, doesn't matter what that journey is, is to believe in yourself, no matter what's going on. Believe in yourself and believe in the power of that faith that guides you. We know faith is not something that you see, it's not something that you hear, it's something that you know. And that you believe it will happen. Yes. And God is very important to put him in the first, I would say, place in your life yes. in order to grow in the faith and believing that you have a great purpose and you have a great reason why God has sent you to be able to fulfill that great purpose. And faith is just fundamental, Susan. It, it is fundamental, and in moments, especially at a time like now, when people can doubt their faith because of everything that's happening. They're not feeling well, they're down, they might be depressed, they might be second-guessing themselves, they may be low on confidence, they may be low on self-esteem, and all of those emotions can sometimes get misconstrued. But faith is something that you have to believe, you have to know. And you have to sometimes stand still and listen to the quiet. And if you stand still and listen to the quiet, faith will speak to you. And, and that's God speaking to you through that vision. And it's very special. So I'm very blessed to be able to have an opportunity to spend this time with you on OVM, the radio show your staff be a part of your journey. And um, I'm very thankful to share in this moment and uh, part of your life. And it has meaning, there's purpose. And I'm just simply sharing a message that comes to me. And I have to thank God every day for giving me the opportunity to be able to have moments like this, to maybe change someone's life, impact someone's life through the message, through a vision, through a sentence, through a motivation. And I hope someone today who's watching this show wakes up or they go out and they find their purpose or they address their purpose 
or they have an idea for business and they go out and start that business and they achieve success because they're believing in themselves. Amen to that. It's so nice to be encouraged and know that others care for them, that it's important for us to be able to share this time with you. And we're thankful also for the audience because they allow us to share these important key elements to develop growth and to have the desire to go out and just get it done, achieve them. You know, a lot of times it's just us that kind of hold back and kind of wait on something to happen, but that something doesn't happen unless you decide to make it happen. And that is an amazing point in business. The power of leadership, of your leadership, is predicated on your ability to make things happen. Be a shaker. Be a power shaker. Be a leader shaker. Be a business shaker. Be an idea shaker. Be a shaker. Don't sit and watch someone else shaking. I love that phrase. Be a shaker. Let's all be shakers. <laughs> I love it. Be a power shaker. Don't watch someone else being a power shaker. You decide today that you are gonna be a power shaker over your life. And when you decide that, everything will change. Everything will fall into place. Every component, your business, life, relationships, your spiritual wellness, everything when you make that decision. And have that faith that it'll happen God is for us and He is with us. We just have to join Him in faith. Susan, thank you for being here. It's always a joy to have you here. And I know that this is just another opportunity that God has given us for more opportunities to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elaine. It's a pleasure to be here and share in the vision, in the spirit, the people, the audience, love, love knows no boundaries. Love yourself, believe in yourself, and have faith. Thank you for that message. Thank you for allowing us to share this time with you, take it to heart. And we'd love to hear um, any messages that you'd like to just send over. We'd love to read them. If you have any questions, we have here Susan Summons. She'll be happy to answer any of your doubts, questions, inquiries, whatever it is that you would like to extend to us. We would love to get back to you with an answer that can inspire you and continue in your path. Visit our social media network. We're Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Um, our social media outlet is there for you. And we have our website in www.ovmradio.com where we have more information of Susan Summons and all our programmings for your enjoyment. God bless you and we'll see you soon on Sharing Your Vision. Bye-bye.